Hey guys, this is Chef Danny, back from Danny's Creations, and today I'm going to show you how to make chicken marsala. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do tonight is we're going to heat up our cast iron skillet to medium high heat. I already added the four or five tablespoons of olive oil, so that's going to be heating up. When I'm heating up, we're going to show you the greens we're going to use today. So, you have one chicken breast, cut in thirds, panned out thin, tossed in salt and peppered, seasoned flour. It's probably about a quarter of a cup of flour. It's enough to, just enough to coat the chicken. That's all it is. Shallots, just one shallot, uh, minced up. Mushrooms, just slice them up, four or five of them. Quarter cup of sherry. A quarter cup of chicken stock. A half a cup of Marcella wine. Four to six tablespoons of butter. I just chopped some parsley up for a garnish. Okay, so it looks like our pan's heating up. Is that nice there? Chicken Marcella is actually one of my favorite dishes. It, it really is nice savory sauce. It's, it's, your family's going to love this recipe. It's on you. Okay, so it looks like our pan's hot. We're going to add our chicken now. You want, to hear that, you want to hear that sizzle? Make sure your pan's hot. Okay, wash my hands real quick. So whenever you're using any kind of raw product, any raw kind of raw chicken, so I'm talking a little loud because that little hot. You should always wash your hands after dealing with any kind of raw poultry. So like I said, we're gonna let that chicken cook for about just a couple of minutes, four or five minutes, mass on each side. That's what we're gonna do. Now when we turn the chicken over, make sure the other side's brown, and then we're gonna add our mushrooms and our shallots and cook that for a couple more minutes until they are cooked down. You want the chicken nice golden brown. The, the chicken, more the chicken is golden brown, your sauce will be more brown because when you glaze the wine, it's going to make the, the brown from the chicken is going to go into your sauce. So it really helps your sauce make sure it's brown. Okay, the chicken real quick. Then this there. And whenever you're doing any kind of sauté, any kind of chicken, or any kind of poultry, your poultry should always be, or any kind of fish, should always be room temperature. Because it, it gets a nice sear on it. You can't sear uh, a food product that is cold. You just can't do it. Now you can check our chicken again. You can see it's nice and golden and brown. Or the other one cook a little more. And my, my motto that I learned a few years ago from just cooking, you should always season every single thing you do. Every single step of the cooking you're cooking, you should always season salt and pepper. Always. Okay, so we're going to flip our chicken out. And try to get up just a little bit more. I really want that nice and golden brown. Okay, that chicken's cooking. Now, I'm probably going to cook that cook for another minute or so, and then we're going to add our mushrooms and our shallots. Okay, so that looks like the chicken's almost done. So now we're going to add our mushrooms. Add our mushrooms now. Add some shallots. Make 
should let that cook for a few minutes. Let that cook for about half a minute or so. And then we're going to deglaze with our sherry and deglaze with our chicken stock. So, looks like our cooking pretty nice now. I always want to make sure that the pan is not over too crowded. You know, just put it on one side of the pan so it's all cooked at the same time. Okay, so it looks like that's getting good. We're going to add our sherry. Now watch because if you have any kind of alcohol, it's going to flare up. Okay, our sherry. We're going to add our Marcel wine. And our chicken stock. Now some recipes only ask for chicken stock. I like adding chicken stock to it because you are cooking on chicken so it needs some of the chicken flavor. Okay, so we're just going to let that cook a little more. I, I tell you the smell of this aroma is, is unbelievable. It really is. So we add our, we add our liquid and now we're just going to, I'm just going to turn it down just a medium low heat. You want to cook the alcohol out. And we're just going to cover it for a few minutes. And while it's covering, I'm just going to talk to you guys for a little bit. So like I said, chicken marcella. It's a really good dish to your family. Um, you can serve it with mashed potatoes. You can serve some vegetables. Um, it's, it's just a really good dish. So like I said, we're going to let this cook for about 10 minutes. Uh, about five, 10 minutes till the, cooking, till the liquid from the chicken is coming out and it thickens up. And the last thing we're going to do is we're going to add our tablespoon of butter or four, five, six tablespoons of butter and just garnish with the parsley. And it's, it's a very easy dish. It should take you no more between prepping is probably about 10 minutes or so, cooking is about 15 minutes, so within a half hour you have a, you have a family meal for your family. So it's been cooking for a minute or so. I'm just going to Check it, flip it over a little bit. And you can see that chicken. It's nice and golden brown. I'm just gonna flip it real quick. Cover it in. So I'm, I'm glad that I'm making videos again. We start videos um, hopefully every single week. So if any recommendations, comment on this video. And we'll be sure to put in to start making them. Desserts, practice items, it don't matter what it is. Put it in consideration and I'll definitely make it for you. I hope that everyone's enjoying the channel. There's a lot more stuff to come. I'm just checking the chicken again. As you can see the mushrooms and our shallots are all cooking down now. Our chicken's almost done. Another minute or so, and then we'll add our butter. After this video, make sure you sh like and share and subscribe to all your family members and friends. Whoever like whoever likes cooking, if you want to see our videos each week, make sure you uh, subscribe. Check this chicken again. So it looks like we're almost there. The chicken's pretty much done now. So it looks like the chicken's always done. I'm going to add our butter. And pretty much when you do your butter, before you add the butter, you want to make sure the chicken, our broth is reduced about halfway. So you can see it has reduced. So, uh, mushrooms and shallots are all cooked now. So now we're just going to turn off, the best thing to do is just turn off your heat. Maybe we add butter, turn your heat off. Add your butter. And you pretty much get just a stainless steel spoon or whatever kind of spoon you want to use. And you just want to make, finish it with the butter. So just mix it around the butter. 
the butter, the butter thickens the sauce. That's the trick. So we're just gonna let this thicken. Mix it around, let it thicken a little bit. Now based on how thick you want your sauce, depends on how much butter you want to use. That's pretty much there. I'm just going to taste it real quick to make sure we're all seasoned up over here. I'll tell you, that's unbelievable. Unbelievable. Just use a little, a little more salt and pepper. Mix it around a little bit. And I'll tell you what, that, that is unbelievable. So now I'm just going to play that for you guys. Chicken. It's a nice, nice healthy meal. It's going to get a lot of good stuff. The mushrooms, the shallots. That's just unbelievable. That's just unbelievable. Look at that. I mean, that's just unbelievable. I like the washer sauce for mine. And just gotta garnish that with some parsley. 